What's going on everyone, Rich Lee here, and today I'm continuing with the Oxford United Road to Glory series. Now, first things first, we're entering the January transfer window today, and I want to bring a couple of players in on a pre-contract. I saved a bit of money back in the summer, so that money is all going towards pre-contract players, and the player that I'm putting as my top priority is Morgan Sanson. You may remember him from the Under-21s YouTuber tournament. I had him in my France team that went all the way and won that tournament. He's a very well-rounded player, absolutely cracking midfielder, can play a variety of positions, 79 rated, and we were able to bring him in for 44 grand a week. So he'll be joining the club for season four, and he is a very talented player. Another player that I'm bringing in is Moses Odebaggio from Hull. And he's a decent right back, 69 rated, and he'll provide competition for Zarek Valentin. Leaving the club then is AJ George, and another player that's potentially leaving is Jamie Fennick. Very good goalkeeper, but we can get a lot of money for him, turn that money into wages, bring in a lot of players on pre-contracts, and do a lot better out of it that way. So I don't really want to sell Jamie Fennick, but if we do get rid of him, we can bring in a lot of players for season four. So time for the first game of the episode now then, and we're taking on Norwich City. Unfortunately though, it was terrible and it finished as a nil-nil draw. Next up then, we're taking on Ipswich Town, and hopefully this one will be a bit better than the last game. That last game was such a dead game of FIFA, but... I'm keeping my fingers crossed for this one, and as we go into it, we're on the front foot here. Lewis McGugan's on the ball, he's going to look to lay that across. Rico Henry's got to score, no, he hits the post. He's a left back, and it really did show there, unfortunately. We've got another chance here, though, with Serkin working his way forward, and that's a really good stop by the keeper. We've got yet another chance here then, but that was a bit heavy. The keeper gets there first. It's okay, though, we've got another chance here with Serkin, and that's a really good stop by the keeper. So we've had many opportunities, we've not been able to convert any of them, and now Ipswich are on the attack. This is basically the first thing that they did all game. They're working their way into the box, using great strength there, and then that shot was just absolutely brilliant. Finds the corner of the net, makes it 1-0, and even though we've been the better team here, we are losing. We're losing 1-0 to Ipswich, and I'm not happy with that at all. We've got a chance here though to get back into the game, but we hit the post. So unfortunate in this game. We've got another chance though. Rico Henry's on the ball. He hit the post in the first half. Can he do something a bit better here? Takes on a couple of defenders, works his way through and then falls over at the crucial moment. We've got another chance here though with Bradshaw working his way into the box. Fouls the Ipswich defender there though and still wasn't able to score anyway. We lose the game 1-0 and that is ridiculously disappointing. The stats say it all. We were the better team but we lost. And after losing that game against Ipswich, we've got even more bad news here as talks between Jamie Fennick and Villarreal have broken down. It's okay though, there were a couple of other clubs in for him and he's on his way to Bayern. So we've got 15 and a half million in the bank. I'm gonna turn that all into wage budget and that provides a lot of money. So we're able to go after some absolute superstars, going after so many players here, just gonna see if any of them accept. We're bound to get one or two of them, and that will be absolutely amazing. Some cracking players in there. Let's see who we can sign. So, after losing that last game to Ipswich, we don't have to wait too long at all to try and get our revenge, as now we're coming up against them in the FA Cup. They won the last game 1-0, and I am looking to get one over on them this time. I want to go far in the FA Cup, if possible, and Ipswich aren't the best team in the world. I know I say that after losing to them, but there you go. And the first chance of the game sees us hit the post. What is it with us and hitting the post against Ipswich? I have absolutely no idea, but John Taylor showed some fantastic footwork there, ran into a brick wall, and then Circum finds the back of the net to make it 1-0. Beautiful strike there from Circum, and I was absolutely delighted at this point. Having lost to Ipswich in the last game, I just wanted to win this game so much, and taking the lead meant a huge amount to me. And we got another chance here, but we poked that one wide, and now Ipswich have got a chance to get back into the game. Are they going to take it? Good stop by the keeper. They got another crack at it, and they hit the post. How did they miss that? I have no idea, and I'm not too sure how they missed that one either. 
We win it. It's a 1-0 win for Oxford and I am absolutely delighted. Time to take on Burnley now then and I've not been in good form at all recently. I haven't been scoring many goals and Burnley have got the first chance of the match here. And we nearly score an own goal. We can't score at the right end of the field, but very nearly an own goal there. And then what on earth was that from John Taylor? Terrible shot. Franco's got a chance here, though. And it's another terrible shot. Into the second half, then. We've got a chance here with Circum. Takes on a couple of Burnley defenders. Lays that across. And how did we miss that as well? I have no idea whatsoever. Burnley have a chance, though, and they score it. They take it. They make it 1-0. They hadn't done a lot in this game, but they were ridiculously clinical. They found the back of the net and we weren't playing well. We weren't shooting well at all and haven't been for a couple of games now. So, yeah, Burnley have taken the lead and as we're not scoring many goals at the moment, I don't know whether we're going to be able to get back into this game. We've got a chance here though with Banton. He goes down in the box, looked like a dive to me, but the referee gives the penalty and the Burnley defender receives a second yellow as well. I thought that was a bit harsh. I don't really necessarily agree that that was a penalty. I'll show the replay in a second and you can make your own minds up about that. But personally, I wouldn't have given it as a penalty. But there you go. The ref did give it as a penalty. And yeah, there you can see it. Was there any contact? It didn't look like it to me. But Franco's got a chance from the spot. And he takes it. It's 1-1. And that's the way the game's going to finish. And we've got some absolutely fantastic news here. That Manuel Lanzini has accepted a contract offer. And he'll be joining us for Season 4. Also joining us will be Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. We've got John Taylor and Jason Banton on the wings at the moment. They're okay, but... Oxley chamberlain is obviously a lot better, 80 rated, still only 24 years old, and I can't wait to use him. The biggest news of all, though, is that we're able to sign Real Madrid's Isco. As he's a massive player, very high quality, he wanted 155 grand a week. He's 85 rated, though. He's going to be the best player on the team, and I am absolutely delighted to bring him to Oxford United. And we still had a bit of money left in the budget to bring in a Jamie Fennick replacement, so the player that I've decided to bring in is Andre Moreira from Atletico Madrid. He's 22 years old, 6 foot 5, 72 rated already. He'll be easy to train up, and we can quickly turn him into an absolute superstar. I like my keepers tall, and at 6 foot 5, Andre Moreira definitely fits the bill. And for the final game of the episode, we're taking on Blackburn Rovers. We've not been playing at all well so far in this episode. Hopefully we can change it around here though, pick up a win against Blackburn. We don't get off to a very good start though. We allow Blackburn in and they score. It just seems to go from bad to worse. I can't seem to pick up any good results whatsoever in this episode. We got a chance here though with Tom Bradshaw and he takes it. He gets the equaliser and we're right back in the game. Blackburn are back on the ball now though. Can they do something with this one? They're playing it around well, but that was dodgy ball control. Suter gets in there, plays it off to Kemar Roof. He moves it out wide to John Taylor. And can we get another goal here? We've not scored more than one goal all episode. This is terrible defending though from Blackburn. And they allow John Taylor to score. We've scored two goals for the first time in this episode. And Blackburn just kind of let him run there. They should have defended that a lot better, but I'm not complaining. John Taylor gets the goal. He makes it 2-1. And as you can see here, the Blackburn defenders just seem to run away from him. I'm not too sure what they were thinking there, but I like their way of thinking anyway. And what I also like is that tackle from Lewis McGugan. Beautiful stuff. He's going to move that on to Tom Bradshaw. Can we score again? No. Straight at the keeper. Into the second half, though. He's got another chance here. And this time he takes it. Really nice finish from Tom Bradshaw. And he's having a cracker in this game, to be honest. Really clinical finishing from him. He grabs himself another. And I'm as shocked as you are to see that it's 3-1. We've not been playing at all well in this episode. But in the final game, we're getting things together. And we're scoring a lot of goals. And Blackburn are making it easy. They played it straight to us there. And Bradshaw's got yet another opportunity here. Can he take it once again? Should have done. But the keeper denies him. And fair play to him. Blackburn have got another chance here then. Decent ball over. Punches it clear. And can we get rid of this? McGugan's on the ball. Moves that on to Tom Bradshaw. He gets taken down from behind. And that is a definite red card. Cynical challenge there. And I don't really know what he was playing at. That was always going to be a red card offence. Came in from behind. Took him clean out. 
And they have no hope now whatsoever. See what I did there? Yeah, very good. Anyway, it's 3-1 to us. And we're moving the ball forward once again. Can we get another goal here? Sebastian Push is on it. Looking up. Decides to take it on alone. And once again, the Blackburn defending here is absolutely atrocious. Sebastian Push goes through. Gets taken down in the box. And we've got a chance of yet another goal. So up steps Tom Bradshaw. Can he find the back of the net? Of course he can. It's 4-1 to Oxford. And Tom Bradshaw has been absolutely incredible in this game. A hat-trick for him. It's a win for Oxford. And we were very clinical there. Only had six shots on target. And we scored four of them. So we've arrived at the end of transfer deadline day now then. And it's also the end of the episode. Danilo has moved to Manchester City. Goetze is off to Juventus. And Radlinger has signed for Napoli. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again next time.